students from Saturday International Fighting Girls School of Run State University, Shanghai, Thailand. We are here to present our science project here today, spring tomorrow. Hello, I'm Mia from Yenko. Our experiment to investigation is about exploring how billiards can improve the growth rate of upper sheep. The aim of this study was to assess and contrast the growth rate of upper seeds without fertilizers, upper seeds mixed with market fertilizer, and upper seeds with fair cuttings treated with a decomposing agent, which is 10% of potassium hydroxide solution. First of all, the way people currently dispose of hair is not environmentally friendly. Hair takes a long time to degrade, but nutrients in hair can help plants grow. So our study focused on using discarded hair as fertilizer for plants growing slightly acidic to slightly alkaline soil, providing an eco-friendly solution to the hair disposal issue. Our research question is that how does the growth rate of upper seed change by using different soil? We had three different soil conditions. Without hair cuttings and fertilizer, with market fertilizer, and with hair cuttings treated with a 10% of potassium hydroxide. Okay, so this is a background research. So recently, the people around the world, they started to worry about the bad effect about the fertilizer and the waste. So, start to look at another way to plant growth and to make the soil better. So, we saw to use the hair from the local barber, because in the hair, they have the proteins, and this can help the plant to grow better. So, here we can see the lettuce and also the ground wood. They can use hair to be the fertilizer, and they can use about 50% of nitrogen in hair within growth. The scientists in Singapore Nyan Technological University who create a soil-free plant through material inherited from human hair and wood fiber, who sponges material called water well and sporting plant, and they can break down to fertilizer about 4 to 8 weeks and leave in the waste. So our research is not just about farming, it's about help the environment to eco-friendly solution. We had today great model and we're working towards the greener and more sustainable future to everyone. For the leaf, we cut soil and hair of the hair, make for our skin, and for potassium hydroxide solution, nitric acid, which are corrosive, make for our skin too. So, to control this risk, we can clear the PPE and use the solution and items properly and safely. For valuable, we have the ultra seeds built in different soil conditions for independence and the growth rate of ultra seeds in terms of height for different. To kickstart our unique ultra experiment, we needed a generous amount of hair cuttings. We collect this from virus salon, ensuring that we had plenty for our project. First, we finally cut the hairs into small pieces and weighed them using an analytical balance. 
To get the exact mass, we will by some simple process. We weigh an empty 250 ml beaker and then we add all the hair cutters into the beaker and record it a new way. We subtract the weight of the empty beaker from the total weight. We determine the mass of the hair cutters. With the total mass calculated, we divided the hair cutters into two equal parts. This ensures that both holes in group 3 can get the same amount of the hair. The group 3 hair cuttings were treated with 100% potassium hydroxide solution, then neutralized with 9.3 cm cube of 1 mol per cm cube nitric acid to achieve a pH of 7.8. So here is some results and discussion. And this photo we take from day one of our experiment. So we can see the group one, group two, and group three. The group one is the opera without any fertilizer, and the group two here is with the fertilizer we bought from market. And the group three is the fertilizer mixed by hair and 10% of potassium hydroxide. And for the photo here is the Day 14, we can see the opera is already grown. And in the next page, I'm going to show some data and a column chart. So in the column chart, we can see here the unit is centimeter per day, and we measure the height on day one, day seven, and also day 14, and we find out the growth rate. And we can see the group, group 1, group 2, group 3. The group 1 is the lowest, it's only grow 1.7 cm per day, and the highest and the fastest here is the group 3. The fertilizer is air and 10% of potassium hydroxide. It's 2.1 cm per day. So this one is the most useful fertilizer for Oprah here. And for group 2, even it's a fertilizer we bought from market, but it's not that useful for Oprah. In this experiment, it became viral in soil conditions. And the growth rate of okra seeds in terms of height is became viral. There are also three examples of controlled variables. First, type and mass of soil. At first, soil with fertilizer was used. Soil without fertilizer should be selected for accuracy. Second, number of seeds in each pot. Increasing the number of seeds per pot from 3 to 5 will provide more reliable results. Third, pH of soil. The soil pH was not measured in initially. Future experiments should include pH measurement and adjustment. In conclusion, visual results 
We have the highest growth rate of the Ultra Seal fitted with our hair fertilizer compared to the Ultra Seal with the market fertilizer and the Ultra Seal without any fertilizer. So that we can say our hair fertilizer works. Following our recommendations that can be further developed in the first, you can use different types of animal fur, such as soft fur and texture. Second, you can use different types of plants grown in soil with varying yields. Third, you can use an organic solution as a decomposing agent. Thank you so much for listening. We hope you enjoy our presentation.